I'm Steve Forte, and I've been with the firm for virtually my entire legal career, except for the first couple of years that I was uh, in practice early on. I joined the firm in uh, early 1984, right before the merger that uh, ultimately became Smith, Gambrell & Russell. My name is Jay Schwartz. I started with the predecessor firm, Smith, Cohen, Ringo, Kohler & Martin, on September 5th, 1972, approximately 48 and a half years ago. The firm was founded in 1893 by the Smiths, and it was original name was Smith, Smith, and Smith. Uh, the leader of that group was Alexander W. Smith, the senior Smith. His grandson, Alexander Wiley Smith the third, uh, was the senior partner of our firm when I joined in 1972. The firm progressed largely through growth within the family for the first years of, of the firm. Another uh, longtime Atlanta firm, the Gambrell and Russell firm, had its roots back in the 1920s. And the two firms merged in 1984 to create the current iteration of Smith, Gambrell and Russell. The firm has grown, although our headquarters have always been in Atlanta, the firm has grown to 10 offices and over 250 lawyers uh, since inception, which is a sign really of the global aspect of the practice of law as we understand it at SGR. I think our mission is to continue to de deliver excellent legal services to our client, promote the growth of our young lawyers, allow them the platform to develop, be successful. I mean, for me, uh, at my age now, uh, I get tremendous pride out of seeing someone that we've recruited out of law school come in as a young associate, develop, grow, become a senior associate, get promoted to partner and then watch them develop their own client base. And so I think that's our primary mission. So in the late 1990s, we strategically decided to expand outside of our headquarters market in Atlanta. The business world was diversifying, globalizing. Practice areas that were now relevant in the modern age that had not been um, positioned in large general practice firms became more the norm for us. So our first foray outside of Atlanta was to Washington, D.C., where we acquired a group of lawyers that we knew in the IP area, intellectual property. That was the first step toward expansion of eight additional offices outside of Atlanta and D.C. Uh, to, to the current number of 10 offices around the world. The firm started from one IP lawyer to today we have more than 30 uh, full-time intellectual property lawyers. So that is really a, a sign of the firm's growth in a focused practice area. Since I joined Smith Gambrell in December 2008, all of our growth has been steady. Uh, it's been very measured, it's been considered. We don't expand just for the sake of expansion. There's been a really big focus on what makes sense in terms of providing top quality service to our clients. Uh, after the pandemic, I mean, we were, we were approaching 300 attorneys uh, in, in multiple offices uh, throughout the United States and, and, and also in Europe. So the, the, the firm has grown significantly, but at um, a good pace, not overextend too quickly, um, uh, but rather grow step by step uh, with uh, attracting the right people and attracting the right uh, practice areas. I think what sets us apart is the approach that we take to the practice. As I say, we are deal makers when it comes, to, and I'm in the merger and acquisition business, so I speak more to that, but I think that, that it's the, the promptness and the attention that we pay to the client and the client's needs. We learn what the client's business is. We know what that business is. And we, uh, we can therefore give advice that's more than just uh, legal advice. We, because we do know, as I said, Schwartz knows how to, how to make a rebar uh, because he works with steel companies. He learns that by working with the client, asking questions. Well, I think I'm a bit of an outlier in that I've spent my career here for 48 and a half years. There are a lot of others who have spent their careers here, or the great majority of their 
careers here. Uh, our managing partner, Steve Forte, joined us as a second year lawyer from another firm. We have a number of individuals who may have been at a different firm for two or three years and joined us and have stayed here. Our culture runs deep in that we, our people, uh, our attorneys, and our staff stay with us. So we pride ourselves on hiring people and retaining them. And that helps us maintain the culture that, that we want to have because these people have similar interests to everybody else. The interesting thing was um, when I first came here, um, I didn't come with the plan to stay. Uh, I thought I would stay for two or three years, gain some practice and go back to Germany. And my wife and I, we moved here with um, literally four suitcases because we thought we we're not going to move um, all of our affairs here because we we're going back. And over the years, uh, this became uncertain. Um, and then after five years, it was quite clear we would stay here and build the practice. And I'm very glad uh, from, with respect to the support that we got from everybody here. And we have some clients that we have had since the 80s. They grew from small offices um, to um, very big manufacturing companies. So most of our clients we have had for decades. And that speaks for itself because uh, it, it clearly shows uh, our clients uh, do appreciate our service and um, do appreciate the value uh, that we add for them. One of the challenges that every law firm has, and we are no different, is the requirement to maintain one's culture as you are going through these expansion efforts. We have worked very hard at that, at integration of new partners into the firm, at making sure that the culture of inclusiveness, meritocracy, respect for each other is something that we breed into these other markets and other lawyers as we are expanding. Most of our expansion in local markets has been through acquisition of smaller firms, that, we, that our values align with theirs, our vision aligns with theirs. Forging that vision with our lawyers, no matter where they sit, is important, not just for the long strategic term, but the everyday basis upon which we practice and trust each other to practice for our clients. We at Smith Gambrell have a way of keeping our senior lawyers in the chair, uh, whether it's uh, in the mountains or on a beach, but uh, we do not have a mandatory retirement age, and we see the benefits of our senior lawyers working closely with younger partners and assisting in the transition of those relationships. A prime example of the transition of a senior lawyer, senior partner who's been with the firm for at least 40 years would be Bobby Pollard. Bobby, in his day, was the top corporate attorney at Smith Gambrell. And uh, over time, he has transitioned his clients to our younger partners in the corporate group. Uh, he continues to serve on boards and he continues to facilitate the relationships that those companies have with our firm through the younger lawyers. Practice of law has changed. It is more a business today than it was when I first started practicing. Uh, for instance, uh, 60 years ago, one law firm would never sue another law firm. That was just not done. Today, uh, the, that same cordiality doesn't exist. In the practice of law, it is more of a business. There's almost too much attention that's paid to the financial statements. I've always maintained when I chaired the, the uh, compensation committee. So the first question that I would ask, tell me something about you and what you've done that creates value for this firm that I'm not going to see on this spreadsheet. And that's what we wanted to know. So that's what we look for is the well-roundedness of a person. What is your value to this firm? The firm encourages participation by its lawyers in community activities. Um, I was a second year law student when Mr. Gambrell uh, donated the money to build Gambrell Hall at Emory University. Prior to that, he had uh, founded Legal Aid. Uh, they, they set, the senior partners set the example. People are involved in the Atlanta Bar Association, the, the uh, American Bar Association, the Georgia Bar. 
uh, we encourage giving back to the community. It's a big part of being uh, an attorney here at Smith, Gambrell & Russell. We establish scholarships both at Emory University and Georgia, University of Georgia Law School. Like all law firms, I hope we, we encourage pro bono activities. We have a conference room at the Atlanta Legal Aid Society that we dedicated uh, when they built out their new offices. We're constantly promoting pro bono opportunities within the firm. So this is part of the culture. This is um, way beyond the numbers. This retains the professional aspect of the practice of law as a time-honored profession, separate and apart from the business side of, of the practice. I did the lease for the new office uh, at 1105 West Peachtree, but it is totally a different look and feel uh, from this office. This is a very traditional, follows what law firms look like for years and years. The new office will be very modern, very contemporary. The, all of the offices for attorneys, paralegals, staff will be identically sized, so a lot of People who are used to having big offices are going to have standard size offices. As I tell some of my younger partners, uh, I'm a dinosaur. Um, and um, while I think this office is lovely, and um, uh, it's not the future of the practice of law. And it's not the future of the generations that are going to be in our firm going forward. And we have to adapt to what they want, not what we want. Another strength for the firm, to my eyes, is the ability for the firm to make decisions quickly, to be nimble, to think on its feet and react to an ever-changing environment. We've seen that with COVID and we'll see it again as the business community changes and our clients' demands change too. So as to the future of the firm, well, I would say, but I think it looks bright. Um, there's definitely a focus on increasing diversity um, amongst professional circles, allowing uh, a, an even playing field for minorities. And that includes women, as well as people of color and people with disability in the professional workspace. I like to tell people that my crystal ball is no better than anyone else's, that I can't look into the future with any certainty. But I'm comfortable saying that uh, our firm has been here since 1893 and we will be here for another hundred years or hundred plus years.